Welcome guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here to share something very interesting with all of you. As you know that Nissan Magnite, the much anticipated model by Nissan has, has been launched today at an unbelievable introductory price of 4.99 lakhs with a top variant price at 9.35 lakhs. All prices at showroom Delhi. Please be careful, these are introductory prices and Nissan has mentioned that these prices will remain only till 31st of December, after which the prices will be increased to 5.54 lakhs for the base variant. So if you plan to purchase this car and if you buy this after 31st of December, you will end up paying 55,000 rupees more. So best of luck if you can get your hands on this one before 31st of December because from what I hear. There are already a lot of bookings and it might be very difficult for you to get out get hands on this car if you are planning to book now. For people who have already booked this, well done, kudos and continue with this. So Nissan Magnite is a Nissan's bid to take on the extremely lucrative and closely fought subcompact SUV segment which currently has the likes of Kia Sonnet, the market leader currently. And then Hyundai Venue, of course, then Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, Toyota Nexon, Toyota Urban Cruiser, Mahindra XUV 300, and many others. And at this price point, Magnet emerges as one of the most affordable offerings in the field of play. In fact, not only the subcompact SUV segment for that matter, even I believe that this will cut into the likes of Tiago or Maruti Suzuki Seft because as we know that we Indians we love our SUVs. Now coming to the all important engine and transmission options which Nissan is introducing with Magnite. There will be two different power terrains, both of them in petrol. There will be no diesel at all. So the first one among the petrol is a one liter unit which churns out 72 bhp of power and which is mated to a five speed manual gearbox. The same engine which does duties in Triber. The second engine of course is the much anticipated 1 litre turbocharged petrol which will be mated to both manual as well as an automatic. The automatic will be CVT. So there will be no diesel at all. There will be two petrol engines and if you ask me I will suggest you you go for 1 litre turbocharged engine. So here are the details of the prices. There will be four different variants XE, XL, XV, and XV Premium. For the normal naturally aspirated petrol engine, it will start at 4.99 lakhs. We will go all the way up to 7.55 lakhs for the XV Premium variant. And as far as the turbo petrol is concerned, as I said before, there will be two different variants. There will be a manual one and there will be CVT. The manual turbocharged petrol will start at 6.99 lakhs and will start from XL variant and goes all the way up to 8.45 lakhs. If you choose to go for the automatic, that is 1 litre turbocharged petrol which is made to the CVT gearbox, it will start at 7.89 lakhs. So that means you end up paying 90,000 more over the corresponding uh, manual gearbox. That is quite a reasonable amount. Then that goes up all the way up to 9.35 lakhs. So on each variant you are paying 90,000 more compared to the manual variant in the turbo petrol region. You don't have any option for automatic in the normal naturally aspirated petrol. The CVT will only come along with the turbocharged unit. Coming to the color options, there will be a total of 8 color options. Four of them you will have dual tone options and four of them a single tone option. Uh, you'll have a red and black, brown and black, white and black and blue and white in dual tone options and then you have silver, brown, black and white in the normal color options. In terms of features, the Nissan may have a trump card, although it misses out on premium features such as a sunroof, ventilated seats, but it does offer many of the premium features which all of us look forward in our cars nowadays. So there are there is a 8 inch large infotainment system, there is wireless charging, there is all important air purifier, there are JBL speakers, button lamps. These are the features which you get or creature comforts which you get inside the cabin and as far as the 
exterior is concerned you get uh, first in segment by projector LED headlamps with LED in turn indicators integrated into them you have diamond cut 16 inch alloy wheels you have a large L shape LED DRL with LED fog lamps so you you can see that Nissan has really packed the magnite to the brim as far as features are concerned so at the price range at which it comes it becomes really attractive to anybody who is looking to buy a subcompact SUV in this segment. The bookings for Nissan Magnite have already opened and you can book it by paying a down payment of minimum 11,000 rupees. So this was a very brief overview of the newly launched Nissan Magnite. If you like this video, please share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.